Jakby nie chciałbym, żeby było jakby bardzo tło ogólnie widziane, więc tamte stanowisko jest całkiem spoko, bo... It combines electronic warfare resistance, wind resistance, and obviously it's dedicated to signal intelligence. And because of its offline capabilities, the radio horizon, the maximum range of signal intelligence is about 250 kilometers. So. Uh, actually, right now you don't have any one, any single drone with uh, this combination of capabilities in uh, uh, the weight uh, under uh, 25 kilos. Uh, we needed uh, some air surveillance, so I took my uh, uh, home, home Mavic and uh, uh, did work like everybody did. Uh, uh, but uh, then after the Kiev defense campaign we uh, relocated here and uh, having uh, the entrepreneurial and technological background we were uh, asked to, to support uh, Ukrainian armed forces with logistics, with technologies, laboratory uh, uh, assets and so on and so forth. And, uh, uh, step by step, we, we deployed uh, seven projects and the Defender was the eighth one. Okay, then some map. Yeah, I will show you in a sec. Our model uh, could show that we could detect uh, the enemy's uh, uh, targets. Uh, very precisely, for example, from uh, uh, six kilometers, uh, uh, with six kilometers of, of distance, we can detect the uh, enemy unit, uh, which emitter uh, emitting uh, in white band, uh, with uh, accuracy up to uh, 20 meters. It is very, very uh, important because. Uh, the main problem in the field right now, the battlefield right now, uh, that our drones, our units cannot operate freely uh, under uh, electronic warfare uh, influence. Our uh, partners are already uh, the local one. Uh, so we have, uh, for instance, ARS Aviation. It's a Polish, uh, Polish-based uh, uh, Polish uh, uh, com aviation company. So we are quite integrated here, and also we are collaborating with different uh, teams all over the Europe, United States, and also uh, from Turkey. <laughs> Dawaj tam do Nie, 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 Come on. 